Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is one of the most beloved composers in the Western classical music tradition. From his beginnings as a child prodigy touring the major music hubs of Central Europe, to his adult years as a composer for the European aristocracy, Mozart compiled a huge compendium of compositions. Since his death at the early age of 35, musicians, academics, and casual listeners have marveled over his music's masterful construction and expression. In this entry to our Composer Bios video series at Liberty Park Music, we'll introduce you to Mozart's life, his music, and his legacy. Mozart was born in 1756 in the town of Salzburg in the Holy Roman Empire, in what is now the country of Austria. Both Wolfgang Amadeus and his older sister, Maria Anna, known in the family as Nannerl, were Wunderkinds, highly talented children in music. Their father, Leopold Mozart, was a well-regarded court musician in Salzburg, and also the children's first music teacher. Nannerl began studying music at the age of seven, and Mozart followed closely behind, beginning his piano playing at four and composing at age five. Well aware of the talent of his two children, Leopold and the family embarked on several musical tours of Europe, beginning in 1763. The children performed at a myriad of courts, wowing European royalty with their musical talents. The tours included cities in the Holy Roman Empire, as well as in England, France, and Italy. Both Wolfgang and Nannerl improvised and composed for their own performances on these tours, though none of Nannerl's compositions have survived to the present day. As was customary for women during this period, Nannerl retired from touring when she reached a marriageable age, leaving Mozart to continue his prodigal path alone. At the age of 13, Mozart was given the honorary title of Concertmeister at the Salzburg court where his father was the Kapellmeister. Though the position was honorary, it did come with several performances of Mozart's music. Mozart continued touring Europe throughout his teenage and young adult years. While touring in London, Mozart met and studied under Johann Sebastian Bach's famous son, Johann Christian Bach, who had a strong influence on the younger composer's development. As a counterpoint to the success of his touring life, Mozart's mother, also named Maria Anna, tragically died while accompanying Mozart on a tour to Paris in 1778, leaving the family emotionally devastated. Hoping for better opportunities and longing to leave the court of Salzburg, Mozart moved to Vienna in 1781. At this point in history, Vienna, the seat of the Holy Roman Empire, was poised to become the center of the classical music world, due to an influx of musical talent and cultural interest. The three biggest names to emerge from this golden Viennese era of music include Mozart, Joseph Haydn, and Ludwig van Beethoven. While living in Vienna, Mozart worked as a freelance musician, earning money from concertizing, teaching, publishing, and commissions. He also renewed ties with the Webers, a family of musicians whom he had met on his tours. Mozart married Constance Weber in 1782, and by all accounts the marriage was relatively happy, producing two children who lived into adulthood, Carl Thomas Mozart and Franz Xaver Wolfgang Mozart. In addition to the Webers, Mozart's circle included several prominent musicians, including Muzio Clementi, Christoph Gluck, Joseph Haydn, Michael Haydn, Johann Nepomuk Hamel, and Antonio Salieri. Mozart died in Vienna in 1791 after a brief illness. In accordance with tradition, and because he was not a nobleman, Mozart was buried in a common grave. Mozart wrote more than 600 musical works and composed in nearly all the genres common to his time. His music includes songs, sonatas, serenades, divertimientos, string quartets, symphonies, concertos, ballets, masses, oratorios, and operas. Mozart's music is numbered using Kirkel numbers, K numbers, named after Ludwig von Kirkel, who catalogued all of Mozart's music. According to Mozart's father, his first compositions date from the age of five. Many of his early works, all written for the keyboard, were co-written or corrected by Leopold, and presumably for his own or his sister's performances. Vocal and chamber compositions followed, including early attempts at opera by the time Mozart was 13. Mozart continued composing up until his death, leaving few works unfinished. Mozart's mature period of composition, beginning in 1781 with the Italian Opera Seria Idomeneo, is regarded as the peak of Viennese classicism. Traits of the classical period in music are exemplified by the music of Mozart, 
Joseph Haydn, and the early works of Ludwig van Beethoven. Classicism in music was influenced by Enlightenment philosophies, which emerged in Europe in the 18th century. Instead of dense, ornamented, contrapuntal textures, classical composers focused on simple, clear textures, formal balance, and tuneful melodies. Emotions were still important in classical works, but there was more flexibility in the expressivity. The mature works of Mozart show a remarkable synthesis of the national styles of composition popular across Europe at the time. The influences of Italian opera, German symphonies, French choruses, as well as contrapuntal music from the Baroque styles, left an indelible mark on his compositional language. Scholars credit this stylistic depth to the numerous years of touring in Mozart's youth and the wide variety of music he experienced. Mozart's highly regarded string quartets, symphonies, concertos, and sonatas are still performed on concert stages today. However, the genre that he may have had the most impact on was opera. Mozart was adept at writing comic and serious operas in Italian and German. Three of his greatest operas include The Marriage of Figaro, Don Giovanni, and The Magic Flute. In addition to the lasting appeal of his music, Mozart has continued to be a subject of gossip and myths, some of which have been reinforced through the play-turned-film Amadeus by Peter Schaeffer. A persistent fiction about Mozart's life has to do with his relationship with another composer, Antonio Salieri. Contrary to what is portrayed in the film Amadeus, Salieri did not despise Mozart and did not plot to murder him. In fact, they even worked together on a few occasions and jointly composed the cantata Per la recuperata salute di Ophelia. The rivalry between the two was rumored and turned into a play by Alexander Pushkin in the 1830s and was later incorporated into Peter Schaeffer's work. Another detail frequently commented on in the film Amadeus is Mozart's body humor and boisterous laugh. Mozart was indeed described as having an unusual laugh, but we will never know what it actually sounded like. And, as was common in his family, Mozart did have a dirty sense of humor, which is documented in much of his correspondence and occasionally even found its way into informal musical contexts. There is also a common belief that Mozart composed all of his music perfectly in his head and then simply had to write it down. While Mozart was prodigiously talented in crafting melodies, molding harmonies, and constructing large forms, he, just like other composers, went through drafts of his compositions and made revisions, sometimes even after performances or publication. Mozart's music still entertains and delights audiences the world over. Not only has his music remained a staple in the classical canon, but it can frequently be found embedded throughout popular culture in movies, television shows, and commercials. In addition to his remarkable music, his short life and the abundance of myths surrounding him have added to his allure over the centuries. Thanks for watching. For more music history videos and articles, stay tuned to Liberty Park Music. And keep an eye out for further entries to our Composer Bio series, in which we'll explore the lives and music of your favorite classical composers.